and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 1160 of my ketogenic journey. And it's also the end of week 166, which means today is a daily weigh-in or weekly weigh-in, weigh -in rather. I'm going to go over my graph of weigh-ins, going to show you my full body. We're going to talk about why I'm really mad at my brand new keto mojo meter. Mm. And so much more. Kind of mad at the scale too, but we'll get to that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, all that good YouTube jazz that puts a smile on my face and helps this channel grow. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style. All right, since yesterday's breakfast got me a brand new low, we're repeating the same breakfast. Got my French vanilla coffee with those little packets in it and some unsweet vanilla almond milk. I've got three bubble yellowed eggs, two Birch Benders, Birch Benders Keto waffles with keto friendly syrup from Good Good, and two Better with Cheddar sausage links sliced in half and fried up. Let's see how this works out. So I've got some ribeye pork chop that I've I boiled up real tender, chopped up, and used for basically uh, barbecue. Oh, yeah. And I've got some Carolina Girl, uh, Simple Girl Carolina Kick barbecue oh, sauce on here. I need more of that, a lot more of that. I had a little bit of a salad. Corey ate some of it too. And then I had a cheese stick, two cheese sticks today. Throughout the course of the day, I also had three of these mozzarella cheese sticks. Calories and macros per my fitness pal website 1,638 calories. 33 total carbohydrates, 125 grams of fat, 110 grams of protein. All right, you guys, so you can see that I'm in the pickup line to get my grandbaby from school, the oldest one. The middle grandbaby's back there, and Corey's right here. Say hi. <laughs> That's my daughter, Corey. Her real name is Corina. We call her Corey for short. Her daddy hates it. <laughs> um, he only calls me Corey when he gets mad, which is completely backwards. Yeah, it's completely backwards. I call her Corina. He calls her Corey. But he calls her Corina most of the time, and I call her Corey most of the time. So, <laughs> so backwards. But anyway, hey, <laughs> Anthony. I call him Anthony Silas Casper. Mom, why do you keep moving forward with the vehicle? It's front okay. Of I'm not. Look, I do. Do I? Am I gonna smack the vehicle, honey? You could. I could if I intentionally. I'm sorry, you're scaring me. My children. All right. Okay. Like the vehicle won't even drive now. Are you okay with me pulling forward now? Yes, because there's plenty of space. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and talk, or should I just show you why I'm mad at my Keto Mojo. Now, this was going to go in one of my daily videos tomorrow's because it was going with what I ate today. But I want you to see. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. I want you to see what it was doing this morning. Now, some of the readings, are the, the best uh, ketone readings I've had since I've had the Mojo, you're going to see all that and more. But look what it did to my blood sugars on the final try. Ketones. Point six still. Okay, so since I'm at a point six and I've reset it with my ketones, I hope. I'm gonna try it one more time with my glucose, but I'm not doing it again. So whatever it says. So it's been an hour and a half since that cup of coffee. I've ate and drank nothing. So how did I get up to a 124 on my sugar? We're gonna try this again. Get reading. 97. Say what? I don't wanna waste these, but I'm gonna try this again because that is wildly crazy. Third time. <laughs> Do I try it again and waste more sticks? No. This is three times right in a row. Time back to back, but I did do my ketones in between, so let's see. 96. Your guess is as good as mine. Pulled out the rely on thing, and I got an 87 reading for my blood sugar. WTF. That's a brand new meter. It's got good batteries in it, and those are some wildly inaccurate readings when it comes to blood sugar. Leaving me with having absolutely no earthly idea. Different fingers, um, not all four times, but the first two times with the same finger I had plenty of blood. And the second two times, same finger had plenty of blood. 
wildly inaccurate readings. Not happy with that. Gonna have to message Keto Mojo, see what they have to say about it. Um, cause it was all within five minutes. Well, no, not five minutes, probably within a minute range, however long it took me to put the sticks, sticks in. And that's just really not acceptable when you're relying on a piece of uh, machinery to help you know what your blood sugar is. And I've got a little cheap rely on thing from Walmart that <laughs> it's known to be inaccurate too. But I did test it with that one twice and got very similar numbers with that one, which was 87 and 84. Four. So not too far off, but 123 to 95. Huh? So anyway, all right. But the, the great glu uh, ketone readings really for this morning for me. Um, usually it's been a 0 0.2. And yesterday I ate much the same as I ate the day before. The day before, which was Sunday, uh, the foods I had ate caused me a new low or gave me a brand new low. But I mimicked what I ate yesterday. There was only two differences. <clears throat> One, as I added that salad really late, uh, well, right after my dinner, because it wasn't a really big dinner, and everybody had, we had, we had you know, to share a little bit. So, I added a salad with some ranch. So, it was lettuce, cheese, and ranch. That's it. And then, instead of chicken, it was ribeye pork chops, which was chopped up and made into chicken, that, that style chicken. So, possibly the pork could cause some differences, but not vast differences, I would think, in the weight. I used the same exact sauce. I had the same breakfast. So, the only thing different was the salad and the pork, of course, substitute for the chicken. And I have heard pork, people say that pork bothered them a little bit. So, I don't know, but I don't think it was that. I think it was most likely the ranch and the salad and all that. So, let's go ahead and do the weigh-in, shall we? And then I'll break out the whiteboard and show you. Guys, this is my body for week, the end of week 166, beginning of week 167. I don't think nothing's changed much, but hey. Yeah. yeah, I believe I was able to get through that without a kid climbing at me. Oh, I can't. He's coming. He's coming now. Come on, then. Come on here. You want to say hello? Oh, God. <sighs> Middle ground, baby. Baby Anthony. Oh, 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 no. Uh, little Miss Jealous is coming. Hold on. You coming or not? Ooh. Well, come on, then. Uh, can I put her down and show, put you down and show her off for a minute? Come on, then. I know. Hold on. <laughs> come on. Wrap it around. Grandma life. <laughs> well, you hit the off button. All right, you guys. It's cold. Let's get this way in ever with him. Freezing. Gotta get some PJs on. One sixty point four. Hmm. I think I understand, but I'll tell y'all about it in a minute. So from yesterday, that is up two point six pounds. Not happy about that. That that's a big discrepancy. But let's talk about this week's weigh-ins. It is week 166. It's October 5th, 2020. Sorry, trying to pull up here. They'll be stopping us from pulling up in just a minute so they can let the other cars out. But, all right, so I started my journey at 311.8 pounds, so I'm not sad about seeing that number gone. Last week, 160.4, and now today, again, 160.4. Making it look like nothing's happened in the middle, right? Well, let's talk about the dailies. Let me go ahead and pull up a little bit. I think they're about to stop us right now. Yeah, it does appear so. So, we're going to put that in park. All right, so... Monday, 160.4, Tuesday, 159, 159.6, 160, 159.4, 159.0, and then yesterday, 157.8, dragging me down to a brand new low. Y'all, fantastic. So thrilled about that number. So happy. The two days before that, I had the lowest nighttime weigh-in I've ever had, so I knew a new low was coming. 
but that means I have lost 154 pounds so far on my journey. I'm going to insert a little thing of Corey talking about some off-scale victories, and if she's got anything to say today, we'll let we'll turn it over to her in just one second. But he's had an off-scale victory tonight. You're talking about the dress I was wearing, where mm -hmm. I had a lot of extra room in it. Mm-hmm. I could wear it before. It was just a lot um, snugger in a lot of other areas, like on my sides, like right mm -hmm. here. So, what, what are you loving about the t-shirt you're wearing? It comes down the thigh. And it's comfy. And big. Mm-hmm. You happy? Mm-hmm. My yeah. face looks so shiny right now. It's not really a promise. It's just I wash. Duck down. You have an off-scale victory here? No. <laughs> no. I've had a couple. But I do look great in crop tops. <laughs> See, I have a nice. She's got that body shape for it. You're joking. I do. I never did. You already look a lot smaller. Look, she got I the don't booty though. I really don't. I do. I do. She, right she got look the at booty. Look at it. She got the booty for days. A big butt. <laughs> I got booty for days. There's nothing See, wrong with that so, body okay, shape. Hold on. Show the, okay, so whenever I lose weight, I lose weight up top on my oh, stomach first. But this is from Athena. <laughs> That's like mom chub. It will it will shrink down. So like whenever but it won't go away. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. Don't laugh at me. Nobody's laughing at you. We've all been there and done that. Aren't those girls adorable? Corey, you wanna chime in and say what you weighed today? I weighed uh <laughs> can't turn it any further. I weighed three fourteen point two today. That's zero point four down from yesterday, right? Yes. Zero point four down. Um I really don't know what all yeah. I should say. You about also it. had I mean, that ranch and salad too, so yeah. that might have actually slowed you down too. If I had ranch to. twice yesterday. Oh yeah, I had that chicken had with. Too. I had did didn't I? Yeah, it so, was like the last meal of the night though. Right, but zero point four is not a bad thing at all. But she could, considering her size and um, where she's starting from, she could drop two pounds a day, even three pounds a day some days. But that's not as likely, right? You yeah. want me to take it back? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys and dolls, that's been my weekly weigh-in for week 166. Corey's little update and Destiny's little update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you need help with your keto um, journey, journey, yeah. If you have questions <laughs> or concerns, my contact information is below. I help everybody for free. I love doing it. Fulfilling. It's really fulfilling to be able to help somebody and get them on the track of saving their lives. So start today. Restart today. Keep going strong today. Whatever you got to do. And uh, there's ways to support the channel in the description below. Great links for Shashka bracelets, Keto Mojo, which I'm a little mad at, but you get 15% off, so go ahead and check it out. Much love, many prayers. Bye, y'all.